Hey guys, um, so today's video we're gonna do um, about how to register uh, mailing tools into the library. Uh, one thing about these tools is if they're not in registered in a tool, uh, tool file, you cannot use them. Uh, this is uh, what I said here the subscribers. Um, so you go to tool data. Space mill, chamfer, ball mill. Okay, and the way the way you do it is pretty much you let's take over here. Here to 32. That's that. Like, that's gonna be in half in the gem mill. So I'll go 0.5. Um, all right now, so it's running. Uh, my program is running the machine, so I cannot uh, add any tools with it right now. But pretty much, what do you do is, uh, for example. Um, you can have a, you know, like for me, let's say it happened in Chipendo, right? So I got a 0.5B for, uh, for ball, uh, for ball mill, then I have 0.5C, so that's going to be like a chamfer, but I, eat, but I set it as a regular end mill into a program, then you see 0.5E, so it's happening end mill. If, for example, if I had a need that I'm gonna need um, to use, let's say, two or three half an inch end mills, you can, then you would have to put 0.5, let's say, uh, R for rougher, 0.5 F for finish, and then 0.5 E for, uh, let's say, end mill, right? And, and that's how you're gonna call them out in the program. And then you see a tool material, so, you know, carbide, uh, let's say, what's the depth of the cut, you can go one inch, two inch, or whatever you want, and then teeth, you know, so like on my drills and, and such, or let's say with chamfers, it can be two. And it also how many flutes, so pretty much, so four, three, and, and such. And uh, same thing for the chamfer. So, as over here you see, I got an age for chamfer, so um, let's say I did have a, let's say half an inch end mill, but it was, uh, the hole was a 200,000. Um, so what happened was obviously happened in the end mill. Even that you use a tip, uh, the machine's gonna think that the end mill is too big. So I called it uh, 0.1H, um, you know, and then, then pretty much it says like minimum, uh, whatever the minimum hole it kind of gets into and, and stop carbide feet and then angle. So if it's a 45 degree, it's gonna be, you know, 45. If it's gonna be a 90 degree, if it's gonna be 120 degree, this is gonna be a 60, so you actually cut it in half. And that's how you set these. Um, and then we have a face mill. So this is, I, I don't use insert uh, in, insert uh, mills, but if you do use one, then it's gonna be here. And same thing with the ball. Um, so for the reason, the reason, um, let's say, I use the 190B over here. Um, I set it as a regular end mill. It's because sometimes what happens is, let's say you have a, you have a, you know, a, let's say a pocket like this, and let's say it's got like a 80 or 90 degree, sorry, you know, let's say radius or 85. So that way, if you have, let's say, for example, uh, let's see 190, which is gonna be 190 if you're gonna cut it in half, it's gonna be 85, 85,000 radius. So all you really have to do is just, you know, just swoop, swoop across this section, this section, then you're done. So, um, so that, that's one of the reasons it's pretty much, I kind of set it. So like when I open my program and I see 0.19B, I knew right away that that's, that's kind of, you know, that's, that's, that's the whole plan when I look at the program is that it's gonna be a ball mill, but it's gonna be registered as a regular end mill instead of a ball mill. So it's just a little trick, you know, you, you can do to kind of make your life a little bit easier. So that's how you register your milling tools in the library. All right, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.